So, we've got the three key pieces, have we? Ah, Valkog. I can just see your whining face now. <laughs> oh no! This is terrible! Calm down. What happened? The three key pieces! The three key pieces we collected! Yeah? What about them? They've been stolen! What? What do you mean, Simon? And this was left behind in its place! Hey, how's it going? I see all your goofy mugs are here. Sorry, but those three key pieces had to come with me. I really appreciate the help, folks. We went through a lot together, you know? Ah, good times. Well, gotta go. Good luck with all that treasure hunting. Ciao. That bastard! He double-crossed us! Papa, try to calm down. What does Zekrom want with the key pieces anyway? He must want the treasures of Eden all to himself. Isn't there a way we can go after him? Wait. I hear something. Hey. He's still on board the ship. Jester, wait! Zegram! <laughs> Jester. So, you actually think you can stop me, do you? Give me back the key pieces, Zegram. Or else. <laughs> or else. You've been rubbing me the wrong way ever since I met you. Let's end this. See, wish I could play some more, but I've got other plans. Later, kid. Zagrum! for the Rosa Desert Ruins. But that's where Valkog is right now. <gasps> Wait, was Zegram in cahoots with Valkog all along? Most likely. This is horrible. We can't let him hand the key pieces over to Valkog. Let's get to the Rosa Desert Ruins, and fast. Full speed ahead! Horde Runner! Our destination is Planet Rosa! The Desert Ruin! Aye, aye! Ah, I see that you've made it. It was very wise of me to plant you on Dorgan Goa's ship. Now, bring the three key pieces over here. Wait just a second. You remember our deal, right? Our deal? 
Oh, uh, yes, uh, your girlfriend. Uh, what is her name? Jane. Ah, yes, yes, Jane. Jane's revivification is coming along quite nicely as part of Daytron's rebirth program. Now, the pieces, if you would. No, not until I see some proof. There's a slight problem, sir. The rune-based rebirth program has already been reworked. We have no proof. I know, I know. We just need to placate him and get those key pieces. Even if we wanted to show you proof, Zegram, we can't. Your girlfriend is in a Daytron lab, right in the middle of the rebirth program. She is on strict bed rest. Please, be patient. Yes, uh, the professor's right. I can vouch for that. Uh, now, uh, the, the key pieces, if you please. <laughs> you really think I'm that stupid? The experiments being conducted in Zerard prison, they aren't for any rebirth program. They're trying to turn humans into monsters. I suppose that's how you roped in Rosencaster, too. Why, you? You're not trying to figure out how to bring people back from the dead. You use Rune to turn humans into battle monsters. What you really want is to use monsters to stir up more conflict so you can rake in the cash. Oh! Well, if you know so much, why would you bring us the key pieces so readily? Well, you know... How should I put this? I wanted to settle this myself. Or, uh, something like that. Oh, I see. Then let's settle this once and for all. This little issue of ours. Not you again. Father, may I have your permission to remove my mask now? Oh, is his face ready then? Yes, it has been completed. It is now in an acceptable condition. Very well then, show us. Oh my, they did an impressive job. What? But how? What's going on here? We have no more use for this fellow, Seed. Take care of him, but only after you've retrieved the key pieces. I will. Feeling all right? Your face is awfully pale. Plus, you look like this guy I absolutely despise. But whatever. Bring it on. a freak of nature giving up already too bad I had hoped for so much more sorry to disappoint well now it's about time Zagro give back the key pieces here they're all yours kid Damn things are worthless to me. Take them and get out now. Huh? Whoa! I will defeat all three of you and take the key pieces. Sorry, you two. But it looks like we're all in this together. Let me ask you this, just in case. If I asked nicely, would you be prepared to give them back? Huh. Over my dead body. I thought so. All right. I shall do as you wish. I'd like to see you try. Zegram, don't forget which side you're on. <laughs> what the?
The tablet's reacting to the key pieces. Stick the pieces in those things. You're right. It's better than getting them stolen. Go for it! All right! Solve this puzzle, the gates to Eden will remain closed. In other words, they are testing our abilities. They? The people of Eden only allow the brightest and best. But I can't say I know why myself. I don't get it. What did you plan on doing with this huge thing? There's no way you could possibly move something this big. Well, what did you expect? Of course, it's not an easy puzzle to solve, but I have found a way to do it. See? Father, at last, the time has come for me to fulfill my ultimate purpose. That is right. You were born for precisely this moment. Now you must prove yourself as an entity that far surpasses all other species. That is right. I have waited for this. Waited for this moment since my creation. Yes, I shall show them the proof. Proof that I am an entity that far surpasses all. I am the ultimate being. You should watch this part, Father. <laughs> now, let us begin. School de la Gita, Reyu Sendra Ugor.
it seems that I was correct after all. What is he anyway? <laughs> ah, very well. I suppose I can tell you about him. You see, Seed is an artificial human created by analyzing the genetic code that has been engraved upon the great tablets. Artificial human? I figured the hints needed to open the door were hidden within the volumes of data written on the great tablets. But we needed to decipher the text in order to find out. My outstanding scientists, Zatron's pride and joy, put their heads together to unlock the message contained within. That's when it hit us. The letter's arrangement closely resembled that of the human genetic code. Realizing the similarities, it was a simple matter of converting the code into genes and reconstructing an entity from them. The final result was an artificial human. And the product of that is seed. Seed has powers we normal humans lack. He is an envoy, sent by Eden's inhabitants to guide us to their land. So you're saying... he was created? Can I not solve this? Impossible! What are you doing, you worthless twit? <sighs> Me? Worthless? That's enough. You're no longer needed. This... this is not... Don't you understand? Results are everything, Seed. The gates didn't open. That means you are an abject failure. What? I'm... A, a failure? An abject failure? Wait, father. You... you told me... You told me that I was special. I... I am outstanding, am I not? I surpass all others, correct? That is what you told me, father! Ah, I have no use for you anymore. Get lost, Seed, you dud. Why? Why? I, I, I am not a failure! <laughs> what else can I do? What else is there? After all, I am a failure. I have no choice. <laughs> ha 
Hey, didn't you hear the man? There's no use for you anymore. Afraid your time's up, freak. Yeah. Why, you... Fegrum! Oh ho! Looks like those rune cells we implanted just for kicks have activated. Ah, now this should be interesting. Let's see which one of you can defeat the new beast seed. <laughs> what this? Well, well. So now he's a monster, huh? <laughs> this ought to be loads of fun. I think it's best if I just say goodbye for now. <laughs> Farewell then! <laughs> What a disappointment that was, losing poor little Seed like that. What a total waste of money he was. When we get back to headquarters, we will have to come up with another way to solve that puzzle. Sir, we're just leaving them there? What? Don't worry about them. They can't do a thing about that puzzle. 
Now that you mention it, you're probably right. <laughs> fellow what's happened to him i don't believe it what's going on how could mr rogue do that the star king they say a man by that name ruled the galaxy long ago according to the legends the star king had enough strength to move entire towns are you saying what i think you're saying jaster is the star king no but one of the Star King's descendants could very well live on in this day and age. Is that truly possible? The Star King reigned 50,000 years ago. Jaster, what did you do back there? I don't know. What's happening to me? I don't have a clue to what's going on. Are you alright, Jaster? Yeah. Look. You did it! You opened the gates to Eden. Zegram, you really pulled a fast one on me back there. Before we head for Eden, I have a score to settle with you. Whatever. Boil me, fry me, I don't care. Captain, Zegram was misled too. Don't be too hard on him. Yeah, and we've opened the gates to Eden. Can't we let it go? Hmm. How about it, Zegram? Pledge your eternal loyalty to me, and I'll reconsider. Yeah, right. I'd rather die. What?! Now, now, Captain. Zegram's strong. We could certainly do worse than having him on our team. That's right. Come on, Papa. Please? <clears throat> Fine. I'll let you slide, just this once. That's great. You know, <laughs> I never thought you'd put your life on the line for a lady, Zegram. <laughs> Who knew you were such a sap? <laughs> Shut up. Really, though, what was I thinking? 
You can't just go around bringing dead people back. I did know that. Somehow, somewhere deep inside. But I put my faith in the 1% chance that Jane could come back. She was my true treasure. The best in the galaxy. Sacrum. Your treasure. Maybe we can get it back. What did you say? We're heading for Eden. <laughs> you were really serious about that, huh? The Phantom Utopia. Home to untold riches. And the land of the eternal soul to boot. Are you saying that once we get there, we can bring Jane back to life? <laughs> right, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, man, I guess I'll never learn. Fine, I'm with you all the way on this one. The mysteries of Eden are just ahead of us. Let's keep moving forward. I'll be waiting inside the ship as usual. All right, you dogs! Get us there. Come on, Jaster. interested in any treasure. It's a matter of pride as an archaeologist, you see. So don't mind me. Hey, wait! <sighs> oh boy, that guy is such a troublemaker. <gasps> huh? Kisala, what's the matter? for a little while now. Something's drawing nearer to me. I can feel it. I don't know. It's almost as if something's trying to stop me from getting near Eden. That's what it feels like. Eden? Why? What's your connection to Eden? I have no idea. I just know that I can feel it. Something's getting closer. I'm fine now. Let's keep moving. Okay. Sure. Huh? Kisala. What? To me? But why? I... I don't know. But that's what it feels like. Say, robot. 
Who are you? And how come you're bowing to me? Sounds like it's talking, but I don't know what it's saying. I think it's trying to communicate with us. Huh? What is it? What are you trying to say? Kisala, be careful, it's acting weird. Hey, robot, stop that! It's no good. It doesn't understand. Do we have to fight it? I don't understand. Who are you? Do you know me? Hey, you understand our language. So you do know me. What is it? Please, tell me. What's this? I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like it's trying to tell us something. Maybe it's trying to give us a clue by opening its chest. Should we put something in its chest? It could be missing a major circuit or something. Listen, you wait here, okay? There might be something further ahead. Let's just keep going and maybe we'll get lucky. I guess so. What's all this? It looks like ancient writing. Hmm, too bad we can't read it. Yeah, right. Let's keep going. I found it at last. Yes, this is the ancient Mariglot tongue. Let's see. Hmm? What? What? What in blazes? But that means I've been horribly mistaken. Eden. Eden isn't in a legendary planet of fantastic treasure. I've got to stop those kids before something terrible happens. I have to hurry! for a long time. Huh? Hang on a second, Mark. Dad? Dr. Picaccio, if I may ask, who was that you were just talking to? Oh, that was Steve. You've met him, right? I was trying to get in touch with him, but something's wrong with the sound quality. Is that so? I could have sworn I heard a child's voice. Uh, Dr. Picaccio, surely you're not still... I'm very sorry, Star, but I've had a long day. I'd like to be alone, please. Doctor... Yes, of course. I'll come back another time, then. Jaster, look! What is that? Whatever it is, it's huge. Hmm. 
must be the keeper of this labyrinth. Ready? You bet! Check this out. You think that could be... Yeah. I bet it belongs to that robot. I guess that big monster must have taken it. Let's go give it back to him. Hmm. I thought I heard people over here. Must be Jester and his friends. I've got to tell them what I've discovered, or who knows what'll happen. I must hurry! specifically created to ensure your protection. Me? I see. So you do not remember anything. That is to be expected. You were still quite young. Wait, was this before Papa, before Dorgan Goa took me in? Yes. In fact, I was the one who brought your lifeboat into this galaxy. I placed it onto an established interplanetary route in order to make it especially easy to find. <sighs> but that means you know who I am, don't you? Yes, of course I do. You are a princess. Princess Iriev of Mariglen. Mariglen? It is the legendary planet known throughout the galaxy as Eden. Its true full name is Le Marie Glenacea. We refer to it as Mariglen for short. And you, Iriev, are the princess of Mariglen. Kisala is? I'm a princess? If that's true, then why did I leave Mariglen? Ah, yes. All will be made clear once you return to Mariglen. Please, you must see it all with your own eyes. I'm afraid there is nothing more I can tell you at this time. What do you mean? Why not? Because it is not my place to say. I am sorry. You're pretty stubborn for a robot. All right. Fine then. I'll go to Mari Glen. I'll return to the planet where I was born. So how do I get there anyway? The path to get to Mari Glen has been sealed for thousands of years. You must open its gates before you venture forth. Take this. What is it? Oh. 
place it in the pedestal outside the labyrinth, and the gates will be opened. Now, Princess Iriath, you must return home to Mariglen. All the answers you seek await you there. I will remain here, praying for your safe journey. I understand. Ragnar, thanks for everything. Travel safely. Oh, and you. Yes? You are the one who opened the gates to this labyrinth, correct? I see. In that case, it may be possible after all. Hurry on your way now. Ariglen is waiting for your arrival. Honestly, I don't get what's going on. All the answers are in Mari Glen. The strange things that have been happening to me must have some ties to Mari Glen too. Everything will become clear once we're there. I'm sure of it. Come on, Jester. Okay. Jaster. Hmm? Listen. Don't tell anyone that I'm a princess from Eden. I, I mean Mari Glen, okay? I don't want them to treat me any differently. I just want to be a normal member of the Dorganark. That's all. It's okay. Don't worry. I won't. I thought there was someone over here. Or was it my imagination? Hey, wait a second. I've seen this before. With this, we can really get to Mari Glen? We're almost there, Jester. This is terrible! Mocha! What are you so worked up about? Valkog's warship is attacking the town! The Dorganarch's heading there on a rescue mission! What? Look over there! There's smoke rising from the town! Get on, you two! We're taking off! What have they done? Dorgan Goa and crew, and you, that Jasta fellow, hand over what is rightfully ours immediately. Otherwise, this entire town here is going to be history. What? He's gonna destroy the town? <sighs> that Falcog. Damn it. Jester. What do we do? Do we hand over the key? We'll have to. Just to wait. Raul! You can't let them have that. That's important. Necessary. To protect the beautiful starry sky you love so much. That's all well and good, but I have no choice! Just hold on to the key. I'll take care of the rest. What's going on? 
Someone's producing a powerful electromagnetic field! It's wreaking havoc with our instruments! We'll lose the ship's controls before long! Look over there! So it's him. Kill him! significantly. If this keeps up, we'll crash on Rosa. We must escape this planet's gravitational field. Ah, those wretched worms! Captain? Uh, I guess we have no choice. Time to retreat! Me. Come on, Raul. Yes, sir. The town. It's fine. Everybody's safe. So hang on. Don't you leave me, Raul. Jester, uh, there's something I must tell you. It's all right, Raul. Don't talk. It's about your father. My father? You... you know my father? But I, I thought you found me on the church steps. I'm sorry. That wasn't true. You were given to me. Your father gave you to me. What? Listen to me, Jester. You are a unique child. There are things you are destined for. Things... Only you can do. What's this? That will guide your way. Go now, Jester. Raoul, what do you mean? I don't understand. What is this? Jester, you must protect that great starry sky of yours. <laughs> Raul! No, please! Hey! Raul! Wake up! Raul! You promised! You said you'd wait for me! No, you can't die! Come on, Raul! It can't be. This isn't happening. It's not true. It's not true. Why did Raul have to die? Why? Why? Raul! Jester's okay. To him, this is like losing his real father. Now Jaster is all alone. He has no one. All alone. True warriors must overcome the pain of saying goodbye to the ones they love. Let him be. I... Um... 
I don't know what to say. Um, the stars sure are beautiful, huh? It's sad what happened to Raul. But this isn't like you, Jaster. Leave me alone. Let's go back to the ship. The desert is dangerous at night, and cold, too. Go by yourself. I'm staying here. Jaster! What's with you? Snap out of it, Jaster. Is it really that awful being all by yourself? I mean... I'm just as alone as you are. We're both the same. Hmm. But we have all these people around us. All of our crewmates. Friends who share our excitement, our fear, our joy. We're not alone. Let's go back to the ship. Okay, Jester? Kiss all up. Ah. It's a map. Where is that? This is a map of Rosa. It's pointing right at the middle of Kujay Desert. There shouldn't be anything there. What, what does this mean? That will guide your way. Wow. Is this where you want me to go? Jaster. Come on. Let's go check it out. We should go back to the ship and prepare for the journey. <laughs> <laughs>